Hello everybody. The dialogue body language reading. Now I'm looking at Dr. Phil's guests. I'm gonna look at a few maybe or maybe this one. Let's have a look at this lady who Dr. Phil doesn't believe who says she's got cancer but I have my doubts. Let's have a look. That you have stomach cancer. Yes sir. Right. Okay I know it's not a cluster and usually you go by a cluster but sometimes you can get straight to the point and go this woman is Fibbing. She's not telling the truth. She's not being candid. Do you want to know why? Because her eyes were closed elongatedly. Let's have another look. Stomach cancer. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. So she's being polite and that can be a deceptive mannerism. But she closed her eyes. When we close our eyes, we're trying to uh, distance ourselves from the truth or we want to close ourselves off from being caught by Dr. Phil, who is suspicious. And, uh... That was another lovely thing she said when Christian called her up to say, hey, Beth, ha you know, hey, we have good news. She ended up with what? Beth's dying from cancer? No. So this is overreaction, exaggerated facial expressions. And she's blaming the other woman over here, obviously to throw off the question. And she's trying to avoid the question. That to me is two little things which make a cluster plus her little fake mannerisms here so it's about three things no that is that's not, not nice. how it was so do you have stomach cancer yes sir my last treatments are in september is it peritoneal okay so she blinked a little bit is it so she's blinking a little bit that means she's under stress so there's a cluster deceptive peritoneal is it what what type of stomach cancer do you I, have? It's, there was a tumor and she's stuttering mumbling she's not getting straight to the point so Christian knows everything about it. I have paperwork galore on it. She has paperwork galore on it and shaking her head. No, at all about it. So you have you stomach. Know what? You're... I don't trust you. you know the... he's... So... And that's interesting. So what I find is that uh, when people are going for it and they're being interrupted, they feign the upsetness right now. They feign the exact. It's like exaggerated emotions. But she clicks straight away over to Dr. Phil. So you have you stomach. Don't let, you're, I don't trust you. you know with the, he's. So you do have stomach. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I hope that's going well for you. What stage are you in? Uh, one. In fact, my last. Uh, I, not if any. Um, I go. In. Um, um, she's mumbling. She can't really get to the point quick enough. And uh, next week. Well, no, it's this Thursday. I go in next week and do uh, the rest of my blood work and the whole works and see where I'm at. But it looks as if uh, looks as if September is going to be my last deal. And there was a real shake of the head, so she even she's not confident with what she's saying. So you're you're doing chemo now? Yes, sir. Yes, you, sir. You seem to be tolerating it well. Yes, sir. Well, except for the vomiting. There we go. <laughs> except for the vomiting and throwing back over to the chick over here. Now she had one shoulder that goes up. But that's a definite deceptive mannerism. And that's why I'm not and working. The kickboxing. I vomit. Is this? A... I vomit, and she's shaking her head. We're doing kickboxing, whatever that is. Is this? Well, I'm, I'm, I just want to know. When we touch our face, we are trying to soothe ourselves. We're soothing ourselves, putting our head down because we don't really want to know. Because she's... And tongue through the mouth. That can, that can mean up yours or it can mean I know something you don't know or she's holding back something. Concerned about this. I'm sure he is. I don't care is this a, concerned is about. Is this a peritoneal cancer? Are there, is it metastasized? It's there... metastasized. Um... Okay. Stressed and ums. Okay, to where? I, I at first, well, right now we're operating on 25% of my lever. Okay, so again, she's mumbling and stuttering. She's not getting to the point, and that's definitely a deceptive mannerism. Um, so I'm having some liver issues as well. Okay. Over-exaggerated head movement. The cancer has metastasized to other organs in the my abdominal liver, cavity. I have 25, I have 25 percent of my liver. Okay, so you right. now and again, eyes are closed. So there's so much going on with this woman. I have, you have liver cancer? No, no, no. And as far as I know, I don't. Well, if it's metastasis. And her hair has been flicked back with the tongue through the mouth, up yours, or she's saying, I know something you don't know. Eyes closed. There's so much. That's the size if you it, do. Oh, well, I only have 25 percent of my liver now. Where's the laugh? I'm looking for a laugh. A giggle. Come on, giggle. Because that's probably not true. <laughs> Don't ask me. There you go. Don't ask me. And she doesn't want to be asked. Poking the tongue through the mouth again. Well, I, I am in, asking I get, you. I go in, I get my shot, and I hightail it out. 
Um, in fact, I didn't even bring this up. Interesting. She closes one eye. Oh, wow. There's so much going on with her. Deceptive. One eye closed. When one eye isn't matching the other, you can't quite trust that person because they're saying one thing and meaning another. For, uh, for months into my own family. You know, I don't trust you with the truth, much less anything. Uh, so we don't tell you anything. I could have brought the documentation. I can fax it to you. Well, we asked you for it, and you said you wouldn't give it to us. No, I said I didn't trust her with the truth. We didn't... Interesting. Deflect. We asked you for her. We asked you if you'd let us I will, see I will it. Fax it. I will fax it as soon as I get home. What? So far, this lady is not telling the truth. So let's now look at the chick here, the woman who says she's got psychic abilities, she's got x-ray vision, etc, etc, and she's trying to entice her boyfriend. It's just not working. She has x-ray vision. She says when you turn the lights off, she has x-ray vision and she can see where broken bones are by looking at somebody. Do you, do you believe that? I mean, really anything could be possible. But sure. And <laughs> okay, so this dude, right? This young guy here who's the boyfriend of the girl that thinks she's psychic. Raised one eyebrow. It means that he is unsure. It's the same as if he lifted his shoulders, which means you're unsure. He's not sure about her having x-ray vision, but his mouth is saying something different. Anything could be possible. But sure, and I could be in the NBA, but I'm not. <laughs> so he doesn't believe him, and he knows he's been caught. That's his little mouth. I mean, come on. Look, 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 I'm not saying that she's an evil person. I'm just asking you, do you believe... And contempt in the mouth there. One lip going up that way is contempt. Eyes closed, she's not happy. Hmm, here, often women use here to cover up their faces, and she's doing exactly that. Is it the woman has x-ray vision? I don't know if she has x-ray vision, but I do believe that she can pick up thoughts from people. Do and he believes that. Do you have x-ray vision? Yeah, and I can all- I'm gonna slow this down to normal space. No. And the reason why I say that is that this lady is closing her eyes. She's got a little jeeping delight smile on her face. It's, she's really unsure of her ability to fool anyone here. True vision? Yeah. And she went, yep, yep, just like a little girl. She goes, yep, yep, I, I do, I do. And then she looks down and then she has a little contempt on the face here. She doesn't believe it either. Uh, and I can also see um, the, like, the footprints of people who have been there before. No one's believing her. Like spirits. I mean, burn me at the stake. I mean, I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. All right, so she's closing her eyes elongatedly. That means a long blink. She's trying to hide herself from the world. She doesn't want to face what she's saying. And she's unsure. She's actually got high eyebrows. It, sometimes when we do that, we're trying to explain ourselves. But she is unsure. She's also turtling. You'll see that her head is going down into her body like a turtle. And she's trying to hide herself from the truth. I have a lot of broken bones. Can you tell me where they are? I'm not in a good space right now. I did not, I feel like I- Convenient. I'm being totally attacked. Totally attacked. She said totally attacked. If she said attacked, you would sort of believe her a bit more, but you're not gonna believe her. She is deflecting, deny, deny, deny. The three Ds, wow. And it's no, not- No, you're being questioned because- And looking down. Because you're making some claims, and if yeah, you make those claims, I'm then right you need to be prepared. Claims. Well, I am. you need to be prepared to defend them. And of course, Dr. Phil, he had a little show to go up because he doesn't believe her. It means he's unsure of the situation. <laughs> and she's under stress because she's blinking a lot. You're representing yourself as a credentialed professional you said, I am credentialed. I'm an ICU nurse that's retired. I'm an author. I submitted my credentials to the government. They've been accepted. And if you have, then you need to be prepared to defend those. Oh my God. Deflect, can't, she doesn't know what to do. Matthew was sexually abused for a very long time. There we go, we close our eyes. When he was in school. Well, by who? I was sexually abused by a neighbor kid from down the street. Mm -hmm. Right. 
So as you can see, there's deceptive mannerisms everywhere. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for other ones coming up. It's been a while since my last post, but thanks for staying with me. Please like and share and subscribe and look at my Patreon page and all those sorts of things. The Dialogue.